home run install here once again uh, finishing up uh, some installation on a smart home retrofit here in Southern California and uh, client asked me to install an antenna and uh, we chose uh, this particular antenna so I thought I'll do a quick little review like the other one I did was the RCA I believe the little flat one this one is called one by one I don't know what that means but uh, uh, this is the box okay UHF VHF combo antenna with J-hook and on the side of the box you got the frequency range the antenna gain it comes with an amplifier so this amplifier gives you about 18 decibels out you got 75 ohms of impedance on it and it also comes with a uh, like I said uh, the power supply which is the amplifier which is a 110 power supply which is different from the RCA the RCA was a little 5 volt amplifier that I showed you guys on the, the last video I did um, so let's go on the uh, the roof this one I chose to, to mount on the roof um, I the, the client said I could put it in the attic but after I saw the roof and the access it's always best to go on the roof your first choice with these antennas over the air antennas OTA antennas or free-to-air antennas, uh, FTA antennas, your first choice is always to put it outside. A second choice in an attic, third and last choice in the room by the TV on the wall. So I had plenty of access and the, they haven't moved into the house yet, so I figure I'll just throw it on the roof for them. Okay, so let's go outside and see how it looks. This is it. Mounted. To the chimney very solid mounting comes with a couple of bolts the mounting staff as you can see I got my grommet on here love these grommets keep moisture out and we're pointing towards Los Angeles Los Angeles is probably about 35 40 miles that way which is uh, north uh, 23 Two, three degrees off of uh, True North. Uh, th sorry, 323 degrees True North off of True North. Okay, I think we're hitting also Mount Wilson. Um, and here's a look of the other, the top of the houses. Got it connected to uh, the coax here, quad shielded coax cable fishing down through the mass, down through the bottom, along the, uh, the, the top of the chimney here. And then I just uh, gently tacked it to the roof just to keep the wind from whipping it around and then going through the, the vent over there. Okay. And that's the old dish. It's currently not hooked up, but it's there and ready to go. All right, let's head down. Hopefully I don't break my ass. We completely removed all the wiring, the original wiring in this home, and replaced everything with uh, uh, Cat6 quad shielded coax, uh, HDMI cables, fully networked, ready, uh, plug and play type of home, as we do. Uh, there's probably a total of 10 outlets. I even threw one in the garage for him just in case he wanted to uh, have some connectivity. Those are the outlets. As you can see, they're terminated with two Cat 6s and two coax for each room. He can run VoIP, he can do whatever he wants in this room. Okay. Let me show you the smart panel that we installed. This is the smart panel where all the rooms terminate to. That would be a group, one room here, four jacks, the other room here, another four jacks, and so on and so on. Okay. We've got him uh, a DSL modem. He's getting about, I think my last check was about, I don't remember the speeds on it, but it's what he wanted, wanted to pay, so, and it's, it should be fine. 
Um, got it. We also ran a brand new drop from the pre-wire side of the house all the way through the attics down into this room. And that's where these will come in here. That's We haven't hooked up the coax yet because he doesn't have any video service from the, the cable providers. He's only getting a, a broadband connection and he's going to stream pretty much everything. We also installed this 16-port uh, switch. And then we patched his modem into it. Right now we only have a couple of things running in there. The TV and um, a, a camera, an IP camera. And we had this, he had this old Yamaha that he wanted hooked up sitting in a box. So we just threw it in there. Not bad. So once again, all rooms terminate back to this what used to be a linen closet, we just captured the top half and ran in new cables and then put a little shelf in there. And then he can use the bottom of the closet for whatever he wants to use it for later. And here is the TV. We're getting about 60 something channels of over the air free TV. About half of those are HD quality. Right now we're looking at HD. Um, let me see if I can cycle through some of the channels for you. That's 4.4-2, 5.1. Is that the Jeffersons? And when we ran the scan, it obviously skipped some of the channels. That was, there was nothing. We might have to run another scan because I think there are channels between the 4s and the 18s. Basically, as soon as I hooked up the antenna, turned on the TV, the, start, the, the TV started scanning on its own. I don't know if it did it completely. But we're getting a lot of channels, very good quality, uncompressed. Let's take a look at the back of the TV just to show you how we did it. We recessed the, uh, the rack, recess the outlet, and as you can see, there's another outlet coming in. This is his antenna that I just showed you. Sorry, that's, the, uh, that's his Cat5 cable. Here's his antenna feeding the back of the TV. Here. Okay. Free to air coming straight. And then we got a couple of HDMIs that we ran back to that closet that I told you about. And obviously it's a smart TV, so we've got that patched into his, into his switch also with full internet connectivity so he can stream from here. Or he can go free on the coax. And, or you can just tap in, patch in a DVD player so he can watch movies. And the master bedroom and the, the guest room also have the uh, HDMI cables that are ready to go. We also put in uh, some speakers for this gentleman. So we got two up top, center down the bottom. We got two up top in the rear and a sub, which you can't see, is behind this couch. Oh, and, and another outlet down there, just in case he sells the house and the next customer does not want their TV over the fireplace, which some people don't like, they can always put it on this wall and they'll have a source of, um, of data. All right, so that's pretty much it. Smart home retrofit, upgraded, and uh, pretty sweet, I might add. If you guys have any questions, drop me a line below this video, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.